um, the government will use this account to send you subsidies to you as a citizen. You may use this subsidy to pay for services on the app or you can or you may withdraw it to your mobile money or bank account. So what this is saying is that the government uh, can use this feature to pay as a citizen. All right? The government of Ghana just launched the new citizen app and there's something about this new application by the government of Ghana that as a citizen of Ghana you want to know about. It's pretty much scary but I guess there's also a good side to this app that I think as a citizen of Ghana you should know what you're about to get yourself into before you even think of registering. So without much ado let's get on. So if you care to know the new Ghana citizen app is to enable as the citizen have access to all the government services right on our palm without needing to maybe go to any government institution to have access to basic government services all right. So um, basically the idea is to have all the government services or all the government institution right on our palm without even moving an inch if you don't want to all right and also um save us from filling multiple forms whenever we need to interact with any government institution having to fill forms and also interact with some annoying government empl employees who are being paid fat money just for showing up in the government sector first off i'm an android user so i went directly to the play store to look for the season app all right and i downloaded it so if you go to the android you just type the season app or the citizens app you see national information technology agency which means it's by the government of ghana you just download it and then click open all right so this is my first experience i struggled registering all right because after entering your number they need to send your verification code of which i easily got the verification code however Whenever I entered the verification code in the app, it's rejected it, all right? I got the feedback field, I mean verification field or something. I tried multiple times. I only endured and persevered just because I wanted to see what this app is all about, all right? And I believe basically as an average person wouldn't go through the hassle and the stress to want to get into an application they really don't need, all right? So first of all, I think the developers of this app should look into that, all right? you have to sometimes try multiple times the verification code will come and the good thing about this app is that i mean the good thing about the registration process is that you don't even have to wait for the verification once you've requested for verification code there's a um, short code on the app all right you see the short code pasted there you can just um enter the uh, short code on your phone to get a code right i think it's star two two star two 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 hash or whatever i mean it's there you can just look at it and just type it on your phone or tap it on your phone and you see the verification code even before you get it on your phone all right so after you have received it and entered it should open ideally but i mean it's try i struggled a little bit then um eventually it worked all right then after you go to the page where it will ask you to enter your ghana card i entered my ghana card and straight up i got to this page all right so it was easy i mean I, apart from the small hiccups i had it was pretty much easy to i mean get into the app itself all right so i got into the app and the so first glance i saw my ghana card on the front page of this very app i mean at the first glance i saw my ghana card and also where i'm currently located of which we'll talk about later all right so um i mean if you tap on the ghana id nothing happens i mean it's basically an information about you all right if you go to public notice if you click on the public notice you basically see all the information the government of ghana wants you and i to know all right in case the government wants to release some information to us, you can access all the recent or yeah, most recent information from within the app, all right? And then if you go to jobs, all right, the idea I guess behind this particular point is to is to help the government know how many people are employed or how many people are not employed in the country, right? So basically to know the employment status of the citizens, all right, of the youth, I guess, all right. So if you are unemployed citizen, I guess it's a time for you to show yourself, show thyself that you are not employed, all right. And if you are an employee, it's about time that you also enter, so the government can know that you are employed. So they chase you for the tax, all right. So basically, this portal, if you tap on "I'm looking for a job," it will take you to a point where, or a portion where. You can just select whether you're looking for a part-time job or any part-time or full-time job or full-time job. So let's select the full-time job, all right? But at the next point, that's add your job title. It's not seamless, all right? As you can see, it keep rolling or I mean like just kind of rolling in circle. Ideally, it should, if you type an alphabet, let's say A, all right? It should give you all the recommended job titles or if you type data, all right? I mean data analyst, so if you type data, it should give you all the data i mean yes sometimes a bit fast it's getting a bit faster right which is a good thing but when i tested it wasn't this seamless the flow was basically a bit sluggish all right so yes you type, you type the data i mean you tap on data process and i mean you select the, the the type of job i mean the job title or the type of job you'd want to do or you are looking for all right 
based on the title then i think you select all right so let's say sales um sales all right sales job the sales sales job not found but ideally you should find so let's go to add even if you can't find you can just add it all right so add then you go to industry select the industry maybe marketing or whatever whatever i mean this point is not really seamless i think the app developers should look into it i mean just based on the fact that government has all the resources all right all the power the money to acquire bigger servers bigger servers and everything they need to make this app seamless i mean this is not so much the flow is not seamless all right and for an app that is made for regular Ghanaian you know, or regular season, it shouldn't, I mean, the, 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 the user flow, all right, or the journey shouldn't be cumbersome, all right? So as, as someone in the tech space, all right, especially this, this flow is, is not really, really smooth for us, all right? The journey is not um, smooth for us, all right? So yeah, the idea is to capture your job status at this very point, all right? And let's go to, I'm, I'm, I already have a job. If you tap on, I already have a job, then you can, um, then connect to um, the SNIT office, all right? You can enter your social security ID or your SNIT password or whatever. Then I think it will then connect your job status to your social security status. So you basically can track how your um, your SNIT is being paid by your employer or whatsoever. So I think this, this is a good thing, all right? Then under it, you have the bills and services, all right? If you tap on the bills and services, you see ECG, if you tap on the ECG, uh, you can add your meter and pay prepaid bills which means you can pay for uh prepaid all right recharge your prepaid card so that you don't have to run out of power or even if you're out of power you can just come here as long as you have internet access uh, recharge your prepaid card enter your meter number and da 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 go through the process and i think buy all right so i think it's also seamless and also you can even pay for water water that we don't even have access to now right since 20 18 i've not even had water in my house all right and if you're lucky to have water you should expect some tea all right tea flowing through your water tap so that's what we call chocolate wee right so you have chocolate colored or chocolate colored water coming from your pipe that is how severe this galam sea has has damaged our water body so we don't even have we don't even have clean water all right and you're asking us to add our water meter to pay for what pay for water we don't have or water pay for water gallon say yes i've destroyed the whatsoever so yeah i mean this portion you have to add your water i'm not i mean just saying all right you can add your water meter and also there's a portion where you can check your insurance your car insurance so you can enter your car insurance to check its validity all right whether it's valid or it's expired or it's fake or whatever all right if if you own a car all right and police stops you or something you want to check whether your insurance is valid or your dv uh, sticker is valid and all that so you can use this particular point to to check and also monitor the validity of your insurance or your dv uh, whatever all right and under it you have taxes and bills which is very important for the government that we have to be all right bills bills and tax 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 all right so here yeah, you can file for tax all right so if you, want, if you tap on i want to file for tax i mean you have your name your ghana card number you go you go to confirm and proceed and then you can also declare customs all right go to custom declaration to declare whatever you are importing basically i guess and next to which we have one feature for the stubborn ones of the country right we have the ghana police here you can see all the bills and fines from ghana police all right so if you are that one person who is uh, with which we have that instead of breaking national rules then i think this portion can be very useful to track all the bills and fines this way you can find all your sins and see how you can pay for them all right so uh, maybe if you are fond of breaking traffic rules now you know governments have installed a lot of how do you call it cameras all right street cameras so you see all these street lights with street cameras attached to them all right and you think oh they don't work or something i mean it's most often than not they are working they are in they are really in working shape all right i've seen evidence or i've seen people who have been sent test messages to pay fine all right so if you are fond of breaking traffic rules this very session is for you, you can see all your fines and uh, everything from ghana police road offenses and violations here right then you can then pay and live in peace all right then under it you have the assembly tolls and rates and fees all right you know the local assembly or local areas um or metropolitan assemblies and all that you have some fines you have local parking uh how do you call local parking fees you have uh, market tolls and other tolls that you need to pay as a, as, a, as a citizen all right and one important feature is also to help you track where you can find available car park so if you drive all right with this feature you can see or you can track where you can locate the nearest car park all right 
what it doesn't address though is whether the car park that is identifying is free all right so you wouldn't know whether there's a free space within that particular car park Never, nevertheless to show you where you can find the nearest car park all right so also you can find um if, if you have a business you can see all the bills that you need to pay in case you've registered in a business you know for business registration or if you register a business every year you have to pay some bills or pay some fines or not a fine you have to pay some registration renewal or whatever all right or uh, business renewal or all that so you can if you link your tin you, or with your ghana card and everything you should be, you should be able to find everything here all right and pay for um, all these um, bills that you need to pay all right and under it you have the job and pension all right if you go to jobs then you can update your job profile as, as i said before right so with this session i'm looking for a job you can just go through the steps and register your job status whether you are fully employed or unemployed or whatever all right so with this you can just track whatever all right you have the snits all right but yeah it gets a little bit funny and unusual right remember the main idea behind this app by the government is to um save us time all right and save us the hassle of going to government institution to register thing because sometimes it doesn't make sense you go to passport of passport office they'll be asking for your information they'll give you long forms to fill you go to a uh, dvla they will give you long form you go to um another government institution they'll be giving you so you'll be filling multiple forms the same forms to the government multiple times and sometimes it's stressful and it's annoying all right i mean like we have ghana card so why don't you use my information on the ghana card to process any other information that you would want you want to require from me all right even if you fill it and go there again you have to fill the information i mean it doesn't make sense and the idea behind this app is to cut these things off to so make sure that with single data that you've entered all right it's basically inter, inter, interconnected all right inter, it's central it's basically it's basically interconnected all right so um ideally one information that i fill with dvla that information should be shared across board so wherever i go i wouldn't have to fill the same form or a new form all right they just pull my data from the central source okay then i can just um give them some little information to authenticate then i i, I go and i'm which basically should be the ideal way because if you check europe and us and all that that's what they are doing so they have access to data and they are using data to do great things as a data analyst i appreciate this because data is, 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 a, is, a, is, a, is a new gold mine and with data our lives can be improved with data the government can 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 can, can understand our needs and with data a lot of things can be improved in our lives all right that is if the governments want to all right i'm not just saying because the governments have the data they're going to do something about it if you have a reasonable government with the data that they have they should be able to understand your needs and also the needs of this citizen and also address it all right but this very particular point which ideally or which the intention behind is to save me or save me the hassle for moving across or from one place to the other to submit forms the government already has my information on the passport the passport office or various places that are filled government um forms all right business registration and all that so i don't understand why if i'm not a snet contributor and i want to use this app to register it's asking me to go to the snet office to go to the nearest snet office to register so what's the point all right what's the point of i mean having this app if it, it can't do what it says it can do all right but um, I guess the new app, I mean, it's, it's a concept that I think is very laudable. They've introduced it, they've added some features, and I think it's only going to grow and get, get better, all right? I think it was launched yesterday, 8th October. Today is 9th, 8th. No, it was launched on 7th October, 2024, all right? And today, basically, is um, 8th, so it's just a day old. So it's only going to get better, hopefully, all right? The scary part of this app is the fact that if you go to home, the government knows exactly where you are so basically this app is, is a self tracker if as long as you have this app on your phone you are basically tracked i mean the government can just see wherever you go all right across the country or even the whole i mean the whole world as long as you have access to this app they can track you all right so it's good if the government wants to provide you with an emergency service or want to find you for something good or reasonable but if you're not lucky and we have intolerant governments who want to calm down on on, on, on uh, who want to clamp down on dissidents or uh, want to clamp down on people they don't agree with or people who probably protest to what they think um, is wrong or whatever i mean if you don't have 
um, a government which is more tolerant i mean they can just use this feature to target people they don't like all right so this feature can basically be used to target people they want to target in real time right that's the most scary part of this all right so i don't know how you can enable this i think they should give us the right to enable this uh, disable sorry disable or di enable this feature all right the only way you can disable this feature is to turn your location off because i think it's based on your location service all right so whilst we able to turn off your location you should be good to go i guess all right because you know with phone you are not saving if you have even if you have your location turned off if they want to find you basically they find nevertheless i'm not saying the government can't find you without this app the government can still track you remember they have access to a lot of detail about us you know remember they introduced this img whatever so basically we are we, we can be tracked all right i'm just saying with this app it will make the job far more easy all right follow you in autopilot mode all right basically and another good thing about this app is if you go to the wallet all right if you go to the wallet um you see your subsidy account you have a subsidy account the subsidy account let's see what this means the subsidy account the government is saying um, the government will use this account to send you subsidies to you as a citizen you may use this subsidy to pay for services on the app or you can or you may withdraw it to your mobile money or bank account so what this is saying is that the government uh, can use this feature to pay as a citizen all right so if bowizi wants to pay you and i all right well, talk about bowizi i think it's a very nice person i really like him a lot all right it's just that he's taking credit for every good thing that is happening in the country and trying to take responsibility uh for everything bad that's happening in the country all right so apart from that i think i like him a lot personally all right so this is not an endorsement in any shape or form all right but um this feature basically is a feature that um will allow the government to reward us so if the government want to pay you and i they can just airdrop money so it's like an airdrop account all right for all of us all right as long as you have a, you have this app and you're a citizen of ghana you have a ghana card um linked to this very app the government can do airdrops for you can airdrop imagine waking up and seeing ten thousand ghana cd in your subsidy account so with this subsidy account the government can just send you money all right and you can use the subsidy that the, that has been sent to you to pay for bills or <clears throat> to pay for bills or you can use you pay for uh, goods and services or you can even withdraw all right so the government is going to pay Ghanaians with this new introduced Ghana citizen app if they want to all right so guys that is basically all that i've seen about this app so yeah it's a good thing i mean um it's, it's, it's a great initiative i mean look, talking of europe i mean estonia and all that i like estonia a lot because of how dicta they become estonia citizens are basically a dictalized I think that's where Ghana is heading towards, all right? Ghana is gradually using the Estonia model, which is a good thing, all right? Even if the government of today is no more, I think if a new government comes, all right, if a new party comes, something that they should still pay attention to, they should not discard, they should still uh, build upon and make sure that it works for all of us, all right? Because this is a great initiative, all right? This initiative is taking us forward all right taking us forward as a country so it's something that we all should appreciate regardless um of our sentiment towards this particular government all right so yeah that is it i've reviewed i've talked about every single feature on this app the question is would you use this app all right looking at the pros and the cons all right looking at the fact that the government can track in real time if you don't have your location turned off all right and looking at the fact that the government can decide to pay you you can be paid and everything you can use it to access service you can use it to access your fines you can use it to do business and it's only going to get better all right so considering all that would you say it's a good thing or would you just uh, instantly hop on all right so just download the app if you want to um, use the app just go to the play store or your app store and look for seasons app and download all right so guys let me know what you think um thanks for watching i'll see you next video